Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. QR codes. QR codes are everywhere, whether you are paying for that little cup of coffee or you are registering, registering for an event or you are just checking in at your um, healthcare provider. Those are everywhere. Those are very convenient thing. But what if I tell you um, hackers can use the QR code convenience to steal your money, credentials, and personal data. So think twice before you scan that QR code. I'll expose you, um, I'll expose the real QR code scams, show you how they work, and teach you how to protect yourself from getting tricked. So let's, let's dive into it. As you see, there are news articles um, after news articles everywhere that you know how the QR codes scams are being used to trick a regular user, um, you know, to basically, you know, uh, take you to the fake websites and then um, have you enter your personal information or either pay for some services which you actually are not going to get. So you'll see these news articles everywhere. Um, so I have this uh, QR code here. Um, this says, um, and as I said, it can be anything, but in this case, it's gonna say scan to register to an Amazon website. And it looks like a pretty decent QR code, like you can't really tell from the QR code itself that whether it's a real or fake. Um, the only text is just saying that um, it's Amazon, but um, let's uh, move on to the next and see what happens when you actually scan it. So you scan it and this is what happens. Uh, you are shown um, an Amazon looking website, but it's actually a fake website. Uh, if you look at this left screenshot here and the lower part of it where it says link, it's not taking you to the Amazon, rather it's taking you to some local host. I just host, hosted this uh, fake website on my local computer. So that's why it's saying local host. Um, and I can, you know, I can actually make it so it just to start downloading some uh, malware on your, uh, you know, phone and then, uh, you know, you know what happens from there. But basically in this case, it's taking you to the fake website. And if you were to just provide your information, like your name, phone number, password, you know, without even realizing that I'm not actually entering it to the real Amazon website, you are actually entering that to my website and then I capture all of that data and then I can use it for whatever purposes. Um, so the most important thing here is to just, before you actually click the link, look at the link, what is shown on the left uh, screenshot here. Again, I say left screenshot, lower part of it. The link is the thing you always want to look at. So whenever you are scanning a QR code, let's say you are making a payment uh, through Venmo or Paytm or, you know, whatever, PayPal or whatever, make sure it is that link. It's not some other link. So before you click that link, uh, ensure that it is the right link and then only tap on that. Um, even, okay, so let's move on and we'll talk more about this. Um, and another thing, generating a QR code is pretty damn simple thing. So I, um, if you go to any website, and in my case, I have this hosted website, um, if it's if you are opening this website on a Chrome browser, if you just right click on the page, um, there's this option where it says create QR code for this page. And it's that simple. And then basically you can just download it. Uh, but awareness is the uh, key here. Uh, I would recommend that don't just um, basically um, you know, scan all the QR code you see in the public places, be it at the parking lot or restaurants or uh, whatever you are doing. Just be aware that you know, be aware that those can be uh, used against uh, you. So just be mindful when you are uh, scanning those. Just only scan those when it is really needed. Um, just don't go around and start scanning each and every QR code you find anywhere. Uh, and even when you scan it, just you know, look look at the um, you know URL, 
uh, make sure it's the right one. And there are actually some tools like some app. Um, you can try to use those. I think those try to validate if the um, you know URL uh, QR code is converted into. That's a legit one. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to speak too much about that. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, just be mindful uh, what you are doing and awareness is the key. Um, just be alert, be aware that, you know, people can basically um, uh, use your information if you are not aware and you enter that information in wrong places. So that's pretty much for uh, it uh, for this video. Um, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for more security related tips and topics and let me know in the comments uh, if you like this video and what else you'd like me to cover in my future videos. Thank you.